Tony, I want you to build me a suit. No, please, Tony. Okay, I'll do it. Three weeks later. Hello? It's ready? I'll be over in a minute. A few moments later. This is it. Show me what you've done. That looks almost identical to your suit. I mean, come on, I'm Deadpool. I need something more like me, something different, something, uh, something, mm, something. Are those guns? That is the most beautiful thing anyone has ever done for me. I love this suit. Hello and welcome back to the Ken O.V. channel. One of the weirdest figures befitting the character's personality has finally arrived. Fighting Armor Deadpool by Sentinel Toys. Deadpool in an Iron Man suit. It's just so funny and absurd at the same time, but it fits with this character. I'm excited to see what they'll bring for this release because the first figure was quite disappointing for me, largely due to the lack of accessories and some of the design choices made about the figure. So without further ado, let's take a closer look and hope there's some improvement to this package. Well, unfortunately, or fortunately for some, the figure itself is largely the same. I mean, it's essentially the same figure with a slight modification to make it look like Deadpool. So just bringing in the fighting armor Iron Man as a comparison. The biggest difference is of course the face sculpt, the difference in the chest plate. At the back, instead of having flaps like Iron Man, they have the sword holders. Of course, it's non-removable or at least I've tried and it wouldn't budge. You've got the Deadpool buckle, these pegs here on the side of the belt, and these holsters which we'll talk more in a second, but apart from that, everything else is exactly the same as the previous figure. All the details, the indented biceps and quads, the lines on the armor, the position of the repulsors, all the same but just repainted. So if you're a fan of the overall look of the first figure, then you might just like this one. To be honest, I don't know if it's the striking red against the black, I don't know if it's the fact that this is a Deadpool character, or maybe it's the design slowly growing on me, but the Deadpool figure looks really good. And here's one good thing I found in regards to Sentinel Toys reusing the same mold for different characters, and we're diving into the accessories a little bit. So these gun holsters are removable. They rely on these indentations on the thigh for these holsters to clip on and stay in place. And since Iron Man is using the same sculpt, you can put the holsters onto Iron Man, and even go as far as let Iron Man hold the katanas or guns, because you can pack Deadpool's hands onto the Iron Man figure. So so having interchangeable accessories between figures definitely makes the first purchase a little bit more worthwhile and it will definitely influence your purchase decision when considering other characters as well. So there's a big plus for having the same mold but if you hate the look of the first figure then there's no point looking at this figure. Do I wish they've improved on certain things? Yes, I still want proper looking biceps but I can't deny how good an Iron Man suited Deadpool looks. For his articulation, it is pretty much the same figure as the Iron Man with different looks so I won't go too much into his articulation. If you are interested in the full extent of the articulation, check out my Fighting Armor Iron Man review. But just covering what's important for me, head can look up really high, he's got the beautiful bicep twist, of course no problem with the bicep flex, plenty of ab articulation and crunching, mmm, love it. Legs pull down for that split, knee flex, no problem. Sadly, not much pivot movements for the feet, but at least he's got toe curlers. As for accessories, he comes with your typical face punching hands, repulsor blasting hand effect, hands to hold his katana, and hands to hold his guns. As for accessories, as you've seen earlier, he comes with a pair of katanas, which is long and bendy. There's a very small bump as you can see here, which I thought is to stop the katanas from falling into the back slot all the way down, but that doesn't seem to be the case. So at the moment, I'm not sure what this bump is used for. Also something to note, the reason why there's a difference in width on the katana holders is to allow for the sword to go in, forming an X and avoiding a clash between the sword. I mean, that 
is calculated to the T. So close to touching, but it's not perfection. B E A beautiful. Also, he comes with four shurikens, which you can slot two into his belt pack on either side. And he does not specifically have shuriken holding hands, but you can slot the hole into the trigger finger of Deadpool's gun holding hands. And yes, he has guns. Yes, baby, guns. Big, bold, and bright red. There's even the Deadpool insignia sculpted onto the handles. That's just cherry on top. Take note, Bandai. Take note, Medicom Toys. Deadpool and guns. It's yin and yang. Hashtag give way to his guns. So thank you, Sentinel Toys. The gun relies on you wedging it onto holsters for it to remain in place, so of course with this kind of method, there will be concerns of paint rubbing off, but only time will tell if that actually happens. I kinda wish they gave him some facial expressions, or at least one interchangeable hit to just sweeten the deal, but I guess compared to what we received last time, this is a huge step up. Also, they gave him the same stand as the previous package. And here is Fighting Armor Deadpool, standing next to other action figures for scale comparison. So, in summary, this is by far the most valuable package compared to other releases. Solely due to the additional accessories that accompany this figure, because, you know, you're getting pretty much the same figure, sculpt and engineering wise, with a few modifications to fit the look of Deadpool. And it works here. It's unfortunate they didn't improve on some aspects of the look that was highlighted in the first review, but if you like the look of the first figure, then you're going to love this even more. This is like a what if figure. What if Deadpool got an Iron Man armor? And the outcome is pretty awesome. With that all said, that concludes my review of this figure. If you enjoyed the review, do help support the channel by hitting that like and subscribe button. Is this one of the coolest Deadpool figure or are you turned off by this look? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And as always, I appreciate all of you for tuning in to today's episode. Until the next review, have a great week and take care. Like to see more videos like this one? Well, say no more. Let me present to you the end screen. Click on video 1 or video 2 for more entertainment. These videos were carefully selected by highly trained professionals to suit your entertainment needs. Also, don't forget to click that subscribe button. If you don't, I shall haunt you in your sleep. So click it! I was just kidding by the way. Okay, bye!